Hey guys, Nick here for another episode of the MoFi Minute. I know it's been a while since I've had a video. There just hasn't been much news, but today's show, we're gonna find out what's next. Is it the David Crosby Super Vinyl? Or is it the Clapton Unplugged? Find out here shortly. But first, we're gonna go over some of the new releases. Guys, if you haven't heard, the El Dorado Electric Light Orchestra El Dorado Super Vinyl is out. It just came out. Um, people are just starting to get them this week. Uh, and I've gotten more than one question, what the heck is Super Vinyl? A lot of people are really confused as to what the Super Vinyl is. Why does this make a difference from a regular mobile fidelity, master recording? So I'm gonna dispel some of those rumors. <clears throat> the latest one steps have come out. Pretty much everyone's gotten their Muddy Waters folk singer. Um, the shipments are starting to go out to wholesale retail. So maybe your local record store might have an extra spare laying around, call around, try to find one. All of mine, as of this moment, are spoken for. We'll find out if people don't pay for them or pass on them in a few weeks if I have any spares. Um, but uh, these just hit the right, these are the 2LP45 Muddy Waters One Steps. They are all out, I got number 9995, so really close to 10,000 there. Um, okay, so Super Vinyl. What is Super Vinyl? Why is it different? So the Super Vinyl is the highest grade vinyl formula that they use for the One Step. It was developed for the Ultra Disc One Steps on Super Vinyl. Uh, this is kind of the formula that a lot of the audiophile uh, pressing companies have gone over to. Uh, Analog Productions has a similar product. It has a technical name that I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it's like 1PHUR1 or something. Um, in any case, it's, a, it's a, a higher quality vinyl formula that allows for a quieter sound stage. Um, the record is still mastered through their, uh, you know, for the half speed mastering, their gain ultra analog system. It's still taken from the original master tapes just like before, the only difference is it's a superior vinyl pellet and a price bump. They went from they went to 61 bucks. But honestly, if you're getting a superior product, a price bump, I mean, everything's going up in price, right? I mean, even your regular catalog items are going up five bucks. So, you know, as long as we're getting a superior product, I understand the price bump. So I can't really fault them for that. Um, these are not limited, guys. That is another new thing with the... Uh, Ultra Disc, or the Ultra Disc, the Super Vinyl ELOs is, although they may be hard to get your hands on right now, uh, they aren't limited. They're gonna keep making them. So, which is, that's pretty nice. Cause this is, they haven't done an audiophile version of this record that I know of in 20, 30 years, at least, I mean, or if ever. Uh, so never been, you know, there's not like another version of it available. So that's really nice. If you need a copy, I do have them on my website. I'll put the link in the bio. You can jump over there and purchase that. Um, not yet on there. Got to see if I have any left over for my, for my regulars. We'll get to that point. Um, okay, so the tease that I teased you guys at the beginning of the show. What's next? So I see a lot of rumors people talking about this coming out next. Um, so I did, dug, did a little digging, talked to some of my sources, and found out that Clapton is, in fact, on the presses right now. So Clapton Unplug One Step will be the next record that comes out. Since this is a super vinyl, it probably won't come out. I'm thinking this is gonna come out before this. I'm thinking Clapton is gonna be out and if it's on the presses now, oh, let's see, it's end of March. So, you know, we might start seeing them end of April around record store day time. Um, we might start seeing them ship uh, to, to retail. Um, to customers who pre-ordered. I probably won't get mine until early May, at least. This is just estimates. I have not heard of a timeline from them. All I know is that this is on the presses, so I'm using that as my timeline. This, they said, could be coming soon, which means it's not on the presses. It means they're still getting it together. Uh, could still make a May date because it's not a, you know, different packaging, different processing. So it still could come out. I don't think we're gonna see it. I saw some rumors people talking about next week. Maybe, but I don't think, I think that's off. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be at least a month before we see this, so. 
I'm still betting on we get this before this. But in any case, both are coming down the line, I think, pretty quick. All right, guys, so that kind of does it for all the news we have. Obviously, we're still going to start to see a lot of trickling in of titles. You know, every once in a while, we'll see a Dire Straits pop up or we'll see a, you know, something else pop up. But I don't have any news. I know everyone's been waiting for that Blonde on Blonde to get repressed. I don't have any news on that. Uh, we're waiting on a lot of restock. And although RTI is speeding up and they're starting to pump some stuff out, demand is just so still so high that they just can't catch up. That being said, I still have a few mobile fidelities in my store. I still have a few of the Bob Dylan Old Mercies, and I know I keep saying that, um, but I really am getting quite, quite low on these. Um, this one's ripped at the top, but I have some that are sealed. Don't worry about that. Uh, you'll, get a, you'll get a nice clean one. Um, so I got a few of those left. I do still have the Cindy Loffers at $31. Thus, she's so unusual. And I do have Son of Smilson uh, at the original price. And I know people are asking a lot more for that on line form, but I saw him at 51 bucks. So, And then we still have that $7 flat rate shipping, which is actually cheaper than a lot of like acoustic sounds or even music direct. For, if you buy one record, it's seven bucks. I think they charge like 10. Um, so, but you can buy two records for me for $7. So I kind of, although, you know, my shipping, my flat rate shipping really helps out a lot. For those of you who are collecting the one steps, I still do have a few one steps left. I still have tapestries, although the price has gone up a little bit. I'm at 190 on those. I still got, I don't know, a few Joplin pearls. They're not quite as high, they're at 150. Still got a couple of those. And I still got a Paul Simon out of print. This is my oldest one step I still have in stock, sealed for 160. And I do have a few trade-ins. I am out of the Eagles new, they're all sold out. But I do have both Desperado and the self-titled pre-owned in the hard casings. They're 200 each because I do not have any new. They're all long gone. Guys, that's what I got for you this week. I'm hoping to get more. As always, I do the show as soon as I get the news and get it to you guys. Hoping as uh, this pandemic lifts and we start to get ramp up production, I can get you more news back on a weekly basis. I would love to do it on a weekly basis again. But uh, I'm not going to waste your time unless I got something good to say. So thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.